Hey, hey. Hi. <laughs> my name is uh, Samad, and uh, right now I'm sitting in in Pakistan. This place is called Islamabad. Uh, it's the capital city of Pakistan, and uh, you might know that uh, Islamabad has been ranked as one of the most beautiful capital cities in the world. Professionally, I've been working as a youth leadership trainer for the last uh, seven years. Uh, I've been working with Youth Impact. So Youth Impact uh, mainly works in Pakistan with the young people like yourself. And uh, I've also uh, trained and worked with young people across five continents of the world, in Australia and the United States, in Europe, in Africa, and in Asia as well. Um, I know some of them wrote questions yesterday, and just like the last group, they were curious about what the food is like. In the food. Oh. Any any guess? Any guess, guys? What do you think? What kind of food we eat? Every type. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yes. Partially yes. Every type, because uh, there is one thing we call it halal. Uh, we are we are mainly a driven society. So we are Muslims and uh, we have this thing uh, called halal and not halal, which is haram. Halal means permitted and haram is not permitted. So we eat like vegetables, rice, chicken, uh, mutton, beef, uh, all sort of food. And uh, we don't eat pork. That's one thing which is uh, prohibited for Muslims. And uh, we don't drink alcohol, that is prohibited. And mostly rest of the stuff is uh, allowed and we eat. Uh, yes, one thing, uh, we eat a lot of spices. So if you know about curry, so we eat a lot of curry, like chicken curry and vegetable curry, and we eat a lot of spicy rice. Yes. Um, were you born in Pakistan or did you immigrate there? Thank you very much for asking this. Uh, yes, I was born in Pakistan, but I had been a traveler and migrant because my parents, they were based in Dubai. It is in uh, an Arab country in Middle East. So as soon as I was born, I moved to Dubai. So I lived 15 years in Dubai, then came back to Pakistan. So rest of my life has been spent in Pakistan, but uh, I'm one of the few Pakistanis who travel uh, a lot. So as I said, that I got a chance to travel across five continents and uh, I worked with a lot of young people like yourself. The question was about sport. He was asking if you played football, proper football. All right. Is it football or soccer? He knows the correct difference. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I think we don't play football here. We play yeah. soccer. So soccer is uh, very common and we call it football in Pakistan. And you, you might know that a lot of people across the world, they call it football to the soccer. Uh, but the most uh, common and uh, famous sports in Pakistan is cricket. So we play cricket, hockey, uh, football or soccer. So these are some of the common games. Um, you mentioned, I believe, traveling to the US, traveling in general. Yeah. Um, they were curious as to cultural differences that you noticed between the United States and Pakistan. Uh, before I answer this question, I have a question for all of you. Uh, what comes to your mind when you think about Pakistan? I think it's like very clean. Asia. Clean, Asia, the Middle East, yeah. India. What else? Sand. Sand. Oh, like rice. Rice? <laughs> rice? No, there, it, is, it, is a, it is very much yeah. a rice. Yeah. What uh -huh. else? Um, Very different, like, like areas, like modern areas, like and their more poor areas. They're like their accents, kind of. There's what? Accents. Accent, yeah. Yeah, that's then, great. I, I'm happy that you know you, you said all these words. So, let me uh, give you uh, my context of the cultural differences between the two uh, civilizations, I would say, because uh, generally what we see. Uh, there's a major difference in the dressing. A lot of uh, young uh, people, especially the women, uh, they wear different dresses. Uh, many of them wear dresses like yourself. Some of them, they cover their head and some of them, they cover their face as well because it's more of a, a religious uh, obligation. But the people, the girls generally have a choice uh, to you know, select their dress code and their own cultural values. Uh, similarly, you know, um, when I visit the Western countries, I see that 
you know, we have a difference of skin color, we have a difference of language, at times we have a difference of uh, religion as well, and different difference of food and lifestyle. But at the same time, uh, with my interaction with the young people across the world, I realized that it's just about being different. It's not about right and wrong. But we admit that people are different, languages are different, so they can have different choices and different uh, cultures in their society. So we still can find out ways to live together, to support each other, to respect each other, and to live in harmony. And that's what I have learned across, uh, throughout my traveling across the world. Uh, rice, someone said rice. Yes, we do grow a lot of rice. We grow wheat, we grow cotton. And uh, one of the most delicious things in Pakistan is uh, the mangoes. Uh, I swear, I mean, um, that you know, the people in the United States have no idea how sweet mangoes could be. If you want to enjoy the real sweet and delicious mangoes in the world, you must come to Pakistan. And if you have got adventure spirit, uh, we have got uh, the northern mountains, the northern areas of Pakistan, they have got some of the highest mountains in the world. Do you know which is the highest mountain in the world? Any guess? Mount Everest. And uh, which is uh, after Mount Everest? Um, Mount Kilimanjaro. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's highest in Africa, but good attempt. I would say, I would tell you, it's K2. K2, K2 is, is, is in Pakistan. So, like, there are 14 mountains, 14 peaks, uh, which are 8,000 meters and above. Out of those 14, five are in Pakistan. So, we feel about all, all these high altitude mountains and a lot of adventurous spaces in the country. What's the most common? Pets. The most common pets. Uh, a lot of uh, young people these days, uh, they pet um, cats, some of them dogs as well, but they are not as common as uh, in the Western society because I've seen very few people in Pakistan petting uh, dogs. Then we have different types of birds like parrots and uh, pigeons and uh, different types of birds. Some of them pet ducks and uh, rabbits as well yeah but what kind of pets do you guys keep there's a hamster actually in the science TV you fish. Oh. do you have a lot of markets or do you have grocery stores uh it's both because uh, originally keep in mind that we are a developing country. Developing country means previously it was a poor country and now gradually they are developing their economy, their businesses, their education. So previously it used to have lots of groceries like small shops and now these days when, when you travel to the big cities uh, you find a lot of big markets like big malls and uh, something like Walmart. We don't have uh, as big as Walmart but still we, we are seeing a lot of big markets like they're curious about how they sound to you. Do they sound like they have accents the way, the way we would consider someone who's speaking English from another country to have an accent? Do you consider them to have an accent? I'm, I'm not too, um, I didn't focus much on it because uh, I see your accent, your language is just a tool of communication. So I was more indulged into your uh, your questions and your curiosity. I didn't focus much on the accent, um, but uh, I believe that every country has their own identity, their own dialect, their own accent. Uh, someone, uh, some countries have very strong accent, some countries uh, don't have, you know, I'm trying to um, learn English as well. So that's the beauty and I, I recommend that keep interacting and keep speaking with the people in different cultures. It will make you understand about their, you know, languages and build empathy about other people. Uh, what is the technology like there? Do you all have iPhones, computers? I know you mentioned being a developing country. How does that impact technology use? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, Pakistan, I would say that um, when I compare with the United States and the rest of the Western countries, um, we, we use a lot of uh, technology in our day-to-day -day life. Uh, Though it's 
develop as in the United States. But if I focus on the seller of phones, like our, our mobile phones, our handheld devices, so uh, they're uh, pretty cheap and uh, economical in this country because uh, we have a, a small geographical area, but uh, the population size is almost as equal to as the United States. So imagine a place 10 times smaller than US, but with the same population size. That's why due to a lot of concentration of the people, uh, the telephone operator or cellular operators, uh, their cost is very low. And that's why almost every young person like yourself, uh, they use uh, cell phones, they've got, got their social media accounts, and they're connected with the rest of the world and the young people using Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram, and all those mediums. So I have a question that what kind of social medium you guys use? Um, Snapchat. 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 Yeah. TikTok. Yeah, TikTok. Yeah, TikTok. Yeah, yeah. A lot of young people in Pakistan use uh, TikTok these days. Yeah. So are you guys connected with anyone on social media from Pakistan? No. I, don't think so. I have one that lives in Canada, one in Canada. Maybe. 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 Yeah. Okay. So maybe maybe after this chat, you guys go back and find someone in, from Pakistan, just connect with him or her, and try to learn more about it. Um, so you've been to the U.S. So you've have you you've had Pakistani food. You maybe had some curry here before. Is it similar to that at home? No, no, absolutely not. One hundred percent different because when I went to uh, some Indian and Pakistani restaurants in the United States, like in Chicago and San Francisco, uh, their base was different because they were very light, very, very light. So I tell you, you know, uh, it's a warning before trying Pakistani curry, just taste a little bit. If you think that, you know, you can have it, then have it more. Otherwise, it's very intense and it's very strong in its taste. So it's, yeah, as I said, it's very different from uh, the Pakistani curry. Thank you. How do we how do we say goodbye in Urdu? Uh, Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Thank you very much and uh, have a good day. Very good. Yeah.